On December 4th, 1920, the international press carried news of a triumph in the world of opera. The Dead City, the third work for the stage by composer Erich Wolfgang Korngold, was a bombastic success. Korngold was only 23 years old. No less a figure than Giacomo Puccini saw in him the greatest hope for the new German music. The story centers around Paul, who has lost his beloved wife Marie. Mourning her death, he has shut himself off entirely from the outside world and lives only in memories. Ich glaube, er ist auf dem Weg, die Realität zu verlieren. Ich glaube, würde er weiter so leben. I think he's well on the way to losing touch with reality. If he continues living cut off in such a way, he'll soon be a serious pathological case. We enter at what I see as the turning point and imagine that the events might bring the process of mourning to some positive closure. Korngold's opera unfolds as a complex psychological study, rife with Freudian dream symbolism, with music that is both exotic and erotic, and a sensuality that reveals more and more unexpected facets. At the same time, its stratum of depth psychology and Paul's obsessions make it experimental ground for directors. When a new woman, Marietta, enters Paul's life, the border between reality and appearance starts to dissolve. Actually, she doesn't have to be so similar to his dead wife. He's the one insisting on it. To my mind, he's already taken the pathological step of accepting no one as the person they really are, transforming them instead into someone they are not. There is only one real woman in the story, Brigitta, the housekeeper, who's been entangled with him emotionally for years. We meet her in the beginning, so our approach is to have Brigitta pretend to be this woman, who herself doesn't exist. Brigitta dons the clothes of Paul's dead wife and experiences with him a tantalizing roller coaster of emotions. The opera does slip into surrealism when the role-playing between the two gets out of hand, as it does as of Acts 2 and 3, we ourselves enter into Paul's mind and experience his fear, guilt and regret, and witness the procession as vision. We experience his emotional states in the interplay of real woman versus illusory woman. A story of conflicting identities, overwhelming psychological torment, nightmarish scenarios, with an extreme constellation of characters carried by an opulent, dazzling score. And it's now back on stage in Hamburg. Was hat 